Mohanad, it's good to see you again. What are you doing here at Greenbelt? Hi, Stephen. I'm here in the UK uh, at Greenbelt with Embrace the Middle East. They are our partner. And we come here, uh, this is my second time at Greenbelt. And I come here to talk to the people. Greenbelt is one of the best platforms where we can talk uh, about Palestine and what's happening in Palestine. And also we come with Embrace to talk about the Olive Tree Campaign project where we plant olive trees, where we raise awareness about Palestine and where we try to invite people to come to Palestine and to participate in our programs. So what are the challenges you face at the moment? What's the key issue, if you like? Yeah, I mean, the key issues in Palestine is that, in my work, that uh, the uprooting of the olive trees and the settler attacks. Uh, recently, we witnessed uh, a lot of uh, aggression against the Palestinian farmers. Uh, we have witnessed a lot of attacks against the Palestinian in the Palestinian villages. So settlers come from the settlements and they are armed and they attack the people, burn their houses, burn their cars. Uh, recently in a village called Turmusaya, there was a huge or massive attack uh, against the Palestinian. So what, 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 what we're trying to do is to over, offer them protection and to help them planting their uh, lands with olive trees. So how does planting olive trees give them protection? Yes, mainly we try to maintain the land from confiscation by planting the olive trees. Uh, Israel use uh, a law that if your land is empty for five years, then they have the right to come and to take it from you. So what we're trying to do is to fill all these empty lands with olive trees. But it's not just um, land that hasn't been cultivated for five years that they steal. They, they'll yes. go for the best land they can get. Of course. Uh, sometimes they use security reasons uh, and they use force to take over the, the Palestinian lands from the Palestinians. So they use many means. One of them is the empty land law. So tell us more about the olive trees. You, you have... Yeah. In our project, we, we talk to the people about Palestine and what's happening. And then we ask them to donate olive tree to be given for a Palestinian farmer. So every year we collect around 47,000 uh, olive trees and then we distribute it uh, for the farmers in Palestine. So how do people donate an olive tree? In the UK, they can donate uh, through our partner Embrace the Middle East. Each tree costs around 20 pounds and then they will get certificates which saying that you donated olive tree for Palestinian farmer and they can follow that online and you can see where the tree was planted and you can read the story of the farmer and you can see photos of each tree that planted uh, for Palestinian farmers. And if folk want to get their hands dirty, they can get involved in the planting? Yes, we have a planting program in February where we invite international volunteers to come and to plant olive trees and to learn more about Palestine. In October also we have the Olive Picking program where they can come and help Palestinians picking their olives. So how, why is it so helpful to have internationals alongside the farmers? First, because it's physical work. We need some hands with us when we plant or when we pick the olives. And the most important thing is that we need uh, to offer them security when they are working in their fields. We work in the lands of Area C, where it's not really safe for the Palestinian farmer to be there by, by themselves. So we offer them security and one of the main things or the most important things to give them hope and to let them know that they are not alone and there is people who care about them and would like to support them. So if folk want to donate a tree, they go through Embrace the Middle East yes. in the UK. But if they want to get involved in participating in olive yes. picking they, or olive tree planting, yes. where do they go online? They can go to our website jai-pal.org and then they can register through the links there. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.